My name is Beth, and I am a former pagan or witch, and now a born-again believer or a Christian as of about a year and a half ago. Um, I have spent quite a few years being involved in the occult or witchcraft. I can call myself a pagan, and um, you can also say Wiccan. Um, and as And I would like to share with you um, a little bit about what I experienced as a witch um, during Halloween and what I think it means to Christians. So when I was younger, um, I celebrated Samhain on October 31st, which is uh, Halloween. And for witches or pagans, uh, October 31st or Samhain, it's spelled S A M H A I. N, um, is a high holy day in their wheel of the year. They have many Sabbaths during the year, but October 31st is one of the very special high holy days. Uh, witches say that that is the day where the veil is thinnest between the worlds. It is when they use it to perform rituals, to contact the dead, to talk to their ancestors, and um, they just basically celebrate death. So for witches or pagans, death is not something that they fear. It is something that um, is to be revered. It is part of the cycle of life. And um, most witches or pagans consider that when you die, you're either reincarnated or you go on to another realm, a spirit realm, where your spirit would live on, and but your physical body would have passed away. Um, and so on October 31st, I have done uh, these rituals and spells to contact the dead, and it is very real. Um, you are entering into a state where you are affecting the spiritual world. You're becoming a part um, of a spiritual realm that you cannot see with your eyes, but is there. And um, the intent is not to do harm or be negative, but I, I do believe that it is actually demonic without witches or pagans knowing. Um, when I did it, I had, I had no idea what I was really doing. It was just, it was what you do. As a witch, you, your high holy days and your cycle of the year and your wheel of life they're, they're just what you go around, and, and that and the goddess. And it's just so October 31st is a huge celebration. It's also the Celtic New Year. And so it's, it's a big celebration and preparing into winter solstice or Yule. So as a new believer, um, I was very convicted by God that I should not celebrate October 31st, Halloween. Um, I, when I was younger, I was very into um, celebrating the Sabbaths as a witch. But as I got older and I had kids, I moved more into celebrating the traditional holidays, Halloween and Christmas and Easter. But I always, you know, in my heart and my mind, I was celebrating Samhain and Winter Solstice because that was what I felt was true and right. And I just wanted to have my kids have more of a normal uh, growing up, so to speak. So we just did what I did when I was growing up in Christmas and Halloween. So God convicted me very strongly that I should not celebrate Halloween. And um, I really just want to talk a little bit about that. I feel that um, to celebrate Halloween as a Christian is to really um, enter into ways of the world that we were not meant to do. God has told us, I am holy, and so I want you to be holy. He's told us that he set us apart. We are a special people. And when we began to start practicing in the ways of the world and paganism, then we're entering into uh, that darkness, that dark spiritual realm that is around us that is unseen, but it is very real. And it looks very innocent and fun as we dress our kids up in costumes and just go trick-or-treating. 
But unfortunately, October 31st is a day where so much evil is being practiced that even though we are not trying to participate and have no evil intent, we, we actually are being involved and participating in the evil going around. And I know it's very hard to understand that as someone who's never experienced that dark realm, that other side, that um, dark spiritual force or world that's actually right around us. But um, it's very real. And if you think about um, stories in the Bible, even um, Daniel, when Daniel is standing, I believe he's standing by the river and the... Archangel Michael, I believe it was, comes and tells us, I'm sorry, I've heard your prayers, but uh, I was fighting a battle and I wasn't able to get here. I mean, there's stories just like that. So the spiritual realm is real and it's dangerous. And in order to um, protect ourselves from entering into unintentionally, uh, this evilness and this this otherworldliness that is around us um, to not show the demons, you know, that are out gallivanting around and especially on that night, but they're out there anyway, that we are set apart and holy, that we have reverence for our God, then I believe with, you know, all my heart that our God, our Lord and Savior, does not want us to participate in this. Now, I have no judgment for Christians or anyone that, that celebrates Halloween, because I understand that coming, I've been there, I've been where you are, and um, it's, it seems like it's all fun. But unfortunately, there's a lot of things that seem like they're fun, and we don't know the other side of it. So I just wanted to share a little bit of that information with you, and um, hope that it might help you. And so thanks.